Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kari and today I'm going to be talking about my most anticipated releases of 2023 for books that will be published in January, February, March, and April. So I absolutely love seeing what the new releases are and being excited about new releases. So I'm excited to get into these with you all. There's definitely a huge mix of genres on this list. However, I'm not going to present them to you by genre, but rather publication date. So first on January 10th, we have Bad Cree by Jessica Johns. This is a supernatural horror book that follows this woman that's having nightmares and she's going to end up being forced to face the violence that's in her family history and there's some kind of connection between her sister's untimely death and also the fact that she's kind of being like stalked by birds and she has these visions of birds and their heads falling off something weird like that anyway i think that this sounds really unique and really interesting next also on january 10th is just the nicest couple by mary kubica this follows two couples and the husband of one of the couples has gone missing and so obviously this man's wife is out looking for him trying to figure out what happened and apparently this other couple they know what happened to the husband and so they're trying to prevent the wife from going out trying to figure out what happened. From what I've read of Mary Kubica, I really like her so I'm pretty sure I'm going to check this one out. Next on January 17th is How to Sell a Haunted House by Grady Hendrix. So this one follows an adult brother and sister after their parents have died and they're pretty down on their luck like they need money and so they've decided that they're going to sell their childhood home that their parents lived in to make some cash but apparently as the title would suggest it's a haunted house and so I'm pretty sure they're going to run into some problems trying to sell a haunted house. Now I added this book to my anticipated release list before I read Horror Store this past Halloween and I didn't love Horror Store so I'm not really sure yet if I'm going to end up picking this one up or not. I think I might wait and see what the reviews are like and then go from there. Then on January 19th we have The Making of House of the Dragon. So basically this is just a book about the production of the TV show House of the Dragon which if you've watched any of my videos before you know that I've been pretty obsessed with George R.R. Martin's work recently so I'm pretty excited about picking this one up. It just looks like it's going to be a really beautiful coffee table book with a lot of information about the production of House of the Dragon, which I absolutely loved. Then on January 24th, we have All Hollows by Christopher Golden. First of all, this cover, freaky. <laughs> So obviously, as you can tell from this cover, this is a horror book. And from what I understand, this takes place on Halloween in 1984. And it follows these kids who are trick-or-treating in Massachusetts. And basically there ends up being these like kind of freaky kids that are dressed in vintage Halloween costumes. And they're begging the other kids to hide them because there's some freaky person in the woods coming to get them called the Cunning Man. And so these kids in these vintage costumes are really, really freaked out and begging for protection from these other kids. It sounds really freaky, but it sounds like a good time all the same. Next on January 31st is The Drift by CJ Tudor. I've actually never read anything from CJ Tudor but I've heard a lot of good things about their work and The Drift sounds really interesting. So basically I think that this follows three perspectives. The first follows a girl who's been in a car accident and like a bus on like a school trip and she's stuck in the bus after the accident with a bunch of other people and they can't escape. The next one follows a woman who's trapped in a cable car above a snowstorm and she has no idea how she got there. And the third follows this man who lives in like an isolated ski shop and he's kind of living off the grid. So obviously somehow all three of these timelines are going to converge and I think it sounds really good especially for January when it's like a snowy story. I'm really looking forward to this one and the early reviews for this are really good. Next on February 7th is Big Swiss by Jen Began. So this is set in the 1700s and it follows two women who live in a Dutch farmhouse in New York State. One of these women works for a sex therapist and basically her job is to transcribe the sex therapist meeting and through her transcription she starts to become kind of obsessed with one of the therapist's patients and this patient is known as Big Swiss hence the title because apparently this woman is from Switzerland so this woman feels like she knows Big Swiss because she's been listening to her talk to the therapist for so long but in reality Big Swiss has no idea who she is but then one day this woman hears Big Swiss's voice out in public because she's listened to her talk so long and so the story kind of takes off from there because she approaches her but doesn't tell her who she is or that she knows who she is I don't know I just feel like this sounds like a really interesting literary fiction and I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna pick it up next on February February 21st is The Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz. So this is kind of about like a writing competition where a bunch of authors are invited to this writing retreat and the competition is that everyone has to start writing a story from scratch and whoever writes the best story wins this huge cash prize. However, things aren't as they seem and the other writers that are there are very weird and acting very strange towards the main character and she starts to feel like something really sinister is happening. I feel like this sounds like a really fun mystery thriller. Next on March 1st is Mothered by Zoji Stage. So this one is a horror and it's about a mother and daughter. It takes place during the pandemic because the mother has to move in with the daughter because times are pretty tough for her. And it follows them getting to know each other better and learning about their darker sides that neither one of them knew about. And apparently like old wounds come to light again 
happened and new conflicts are started between them, but it sounds very dark. And like I said, this is a horror. It sounds like a pretty unique book and I'm definitely gonna pick this one up. Next on March 2nd is The Master and the Margarita Clothbound by Mikhail Bulgakov. I'm really excited that they're coming out with the Clothbound for this book because this is actually on my 23 books I wanna read in 2023 list, which I'll link that video down below if you're interested in seeing what the 23 books are that I wanna read in 2023 are. But anyway, it's really exciting that this is already one of the books that I wanna read next year and it's coming out in the Clothbound Classic, which obviously I love the Clothbound Classics. Next on March 7th is The Kind Worth Saving by Peter Swanson. This is actually a sequel to Peter Swanson's other book, The Kind Worth Killing, which I absolutely loved. I read that in 2017, I think, and it's amazing. It's one of the best thrillers I've ever read. If you haven't read it, I would really recommend it. And so to be honest with you, I don't even know what this book is about. I don't want to know. I'm not going to read a synopsis. I'm definitely going to read it, and I definitely need to read The Kind Worth Killing again because even though I remember little things from that book, it's been like over five years since I read it, so I don't remember all of the details. So I need to reread that, and then I'm definitely going to read The Kind Worth Saving. Next on March 7th is The Protégé by Jody German. So this is a mystery that has two points of view. One is from a professor who studies corpses and one is from a graduate student that comes to work under this professor. And basically the reason why this grad student has signed up to work under this professor is that she's there to ruin her life. So obviously there's some kind of mystery around why does this grad student want to ruin this professor's life. I love stories with academic settings so I think that this sounds really good. Next on March 28th is A House with Good Bones by T. Kingfisher. I actually just read my first T. Kingfisher this year. I read her What Moves the Dead which is a retelling of Edgar Allan Poe's The Fall of the House of Usher and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was so good. So I'm really excited about this new release from her. Basically it's about this daughter who goes to check on her mom because she's worried that something's just not right with her mom. And when she gets to her house she starts looking around and things are really weird at her mom's house. Like when she goes out back she finds a jar of teeth and like there's a vulture circling in the backyard. So like things are really really weird at her mom's house. And so this is about figuring out what has happened at her mom's house and why is her mom acting so weird. I think that this sounds really good and I'm really excited about it because of how much I loved What Moves the Dead. Next on April 4th, the deluxe edition of Dune Messiah by Frank Herbert is being released. So the deluxe edition of Dune is the one that I have and I've been waiting to pick up Dune Messiah until this deluxe edition comes out. And this is actually another book that's on my 23 books I wanna read in 2023. So I'm definitely gonna wait to pick this edition up. And this will be the edition that I read in 2023. These editions are really, really pretty. They've got sprayed edges and really beautiful artwork on the end pages and inside the dust jacket. Next, also on April 4th is For You and Only You by Carolyn Kepnes. So this is actually the fourth book in the You series. Now the first book, You, is one of my favorite thrillers of all time. I absolutely love that. I read that in 2017, I think. Fell in love, it was great. But then I went on to read the second book, Hidden Bodies, and I hated it. Then I think it was 2021 when the third book came out, You Love Me, and I absolutely hated it. It was horrible, it was so bad. I just wanted it to be good because of how much I loved the first book, but it was so bad. I should have known from how bad Hidden Bodies was that this one would be bad, but I gave it a chance anyway. And now the fourth one is coming out. You know, you would think I've learned my lesson, but I'm just like really holding out hope that one of these days she's gonna write something that was as good as the first book. When in reality, I know that that's probably not what's going to happen. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think maybe I'll wait and see what the first reviews are and then decide, but I don't know. I don't know if this series can be redeemed. Basically in this fourth one, Joe has become an author and he becomes a fellow at Harvard. So. I don't know, we'll see. Next on April 25th is The Last Word by Taylor Adams. So this is a thriller that I'm pretty sure every book reviewer on the internet is gonna wanna be reading because basically this is about a book reviewer who posts a really negative review about a book she just read and the author goes crazy. <laughs> and like really scary things start happening to this girl and she starts to wonder if the author is like stalking her and like is the author going to kill her or something like that. So basically I'm pretty sure that everyone who posts reviews about books on the internet is gonna wanna be reading reading this because it's a little close to home. So those are all the books that I'm really excited about that are being released between January and April. However, there was just a book that was announced that's coming out in May that I'm super excited about. I cannot wait to tell you about it until my next anticipated release video. I had to talk about it right now. And so this one's coming out May 25th and it's The Happy Couple by Nisha Dolan. So in 2021, I read Exciting Times by Nisha Dolan and it was one of my favorite books that I read that year and one of my favorite books that I've ever read. I absolutely loved it. If you enjoy Sally Rooney, 
Journey's books, I think you would really enjoy Exciting Times by Nisha Dolan. I'll link my video where I talked about my favorite books of 2021 so that you can see more information about Exciting Times. So ever since I read Exciting Times, I've been waiting for the next Nisha Dolan book and she finally just announced it like a week ago. And so I'm super excited about it. Like I said, if you enjoy the Sally Rooney type of literary fiction, you're gonna love Nisha Dolan. Basically the happy couple follows five people and how all their lives and their relationships all intersect with each other. And obviously it's gonna be a little bit messy, but I'm really looking forward to this because Nisha Dolan's style of literary fiction is so good and her humor is incredible. I love her humor. So anyway, even though technically that wasn't a part of the four months that I was talking about, I just had to tell you about it because I'm so excited and couldn't wait until my next anticipated release video. So yeah, those are all the books that I'm looking forward to in the months of January, February, March, and April, 2023. Let me know if any of them sounded interesting to you that you think you're gonna check out when they're released. Also let me know what books you're excited about being released in the first four months of 2023. I always love getting excited about new releases so definitely let me know. I would love to add to my list of new exciting releases. Please like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you back and I'll talk to you again next time. Bye!